Hey you all, it's Ashley with Fleet Feet and today's workout comes in two parts. The first part is a muscle activation workout to bring your entire body online, get it fired up and ready to go so that you can move into your second part of the workout in balance. That second part of the workout is going to be a 20 to 30 minute walk or run depending on your experience level. And we'll talk more about part two as soon as we finish warming up. A quick note, you all, you do not need any equipment for today's workout. Just a good pair of running shoes. Okay, for the muscle activation warm up, we're going to do two rounds of each exercise. We'll do five down dog to lunges, 10 squats, five push ups, 10 arm swings forward, 10 arm swings backward, and then 10 side to side body swings. Then we'll do 15 jumping jacks. We'll do all of these two times through. After that, we'll get into part two of the workout. First up, we have the down dog to lunge. What I really love about this exercise is that you get into an inverted position and you come back up. You also really stretch your calves, your glutes, your hamstrings, your shoulders, your entire body gets warmed up during this exercise. So from a down dog, bring one leg forward, come up, lift your arms up, Lower down with that back leg into a lunge. Inhale, come back up. You'll exhale, put your hands on the ground. Return your right leg back to the left. Bring your left leg forward. Bring your arms up. And then you exhale and lower down into a lunge on this side. That's one repetition. Back to a down dog. Inhale, you'll bring your right leg forward. Exhale as you lower down your knee. Back to down dog. Opposite leg comes forward. Reach your arms up. Sink down into that lunge. Replace your hands on the ground. We'll do that five times on each side. Now, four arm swings. We'll start with going back. All we're doing is big arm swings, keeping it relaxed 10 times. Loosening up our shoulders and forward. And next, we're gonna do some side to side arm swings. Now, to initiate these, all we're doing is bending our knees and turning from side to side. The key here is that while my arms are moving, what's initiating the movement is actually my hips. Your arms are just sort of following your torso. And notice I'm also looking behind me with this, and then also working on balance because I'm moving from side to side and turning in circles. If you get dizzy easily, keep your movements a little bit smaller and maintain a forward focus. Okay, next up we have squats. Four squats, you wanna keep your weight balanced in your feet, so not too far back in your heels or too far forward in your toes. You wanna have a nice wide stance, your toes pointed slightly out. And when you dip down into your squat, you want your knees to track over your toe. So you want your weight balanced in your feet. You wanna sit back into the squat and you want your chest lifted, your shoulders relaxed. We'll do 10 of these. Squat down and up. Deliberate slow movement. Only go as far as you can comfortably. Next up, we have push-ups. For a push-up, if you can do a normal push-up in a high plank position, that's great. Keep your elbows slightly bent. You wanna come forward, touch your nose to the ground, come up, keeping a nice, even body. You don't wanna snake your body or dip down or stick your butt up too high. Everything should be pulled in Elbows come directly back, nose to the ground, come back up. If this option is not available to you, you can do a push-up from your knees. So knees on the ground, same position with your torso, nice and flat and even, hollow body, come down to the ground, elbows coming back, and inhale back up. We're gonna do five to 10 push-ups. If you're new to push-ups, keep it on the lower end for these. Last up, we have tried and true, the fun, one and only jumping jacks. I love jumping jacks because you get a jump, you get more side to side dynamic movement. 
which is something you're not going to experience when you're running. All right, let's go. 15 jumping jacks. All right, so for your 20 to 30 minute walk or jog, what are you going to do? If you're new to exercise, stick to a 20 minute walk, keep it light, easy and relaxed. If you've been running for some amount of time, but not that long, and you feel like you can run for 20 minutes, go for it again. Keep it nice, relaxed, easy breathing. Take walk breaks if you need them. If you're an experienced runner and you have no problem running for 30 minutes, go ahead and do that. But again, keep it nice, easy, and relaxed. The goal of today's walk or run is just to get your body moving. It's also to stay relaxed and be present and just be comfortable moving aerobically. And remember, every time you turn on one of these workouts and you decide to commit to going through a workout, completing a workout, you're committing to you. This is your time to really be with yourself and we're here to help you do that. So let's have some fun with it. If you have any questions at all about this workout, go to our YouTube page and ask those in the comments below. We'll get back to you. Thank you and have a great day.